Hey there, my name is Sosonis and welcome to Ark Survival Evolve with the Eco Terrariums mod update. Yeah, yeah, clap in the hands for you. <laughs> okay, so the mod has been updated, uh, the terrariums have been updated and uh, we're gonna check them out. I have some old footage and some new footage, some old footage of how it was before and uh, some new footage. So we're gonna check that out and uh, uh, hello you <laughs> with your head poking through. The first one we're gonna check out is the swamp habitat. I really like this habitat and now with the new update it is even better. So in the corner we have the iguanodon wiggling around. And uh, yeah we have the frog, the caprosuchus, the diplocolus, but it has been changed. Check it out. There has been a dimorphodon has been added flying around. The dragonflies are nicely flying around. The diplocolus is set free. Uh, some rocks has been changed. Uh, uh, some plants has been added. So really a nice update. Here you can see uh, the point of view with the frog and the caprosuchus. The caprosuchus is not purple anymore. And yeah, I, I don't know. It is kind of sad because now uh, with the green color it doesn't stand out that, uh, that much as it used to be. And the diplocol as well, it is set free. It is gone. <laughs> and as you can see the water texture has also been changed. It is a nice update that it is now actually water. But what I miss is, and you will see that in other habitats as well, that the water is uh, sometimes not actually looking like water. Because uh, yeah, when you don't have the reflection of the light on it, uh, sometimes you don't see the water and you only see the uh, bottom layer of the water and uh, then it looks just like grass or just like ground. So, so it could use another layer of uh, water. Just uh, the blue color of it just beneath the surface of the water and then it looks much better like water so the dragonflies are stuck here and now they are nicely flying around and the uh, dimorphodon has been added i like the update of this swamp one uh, really it adds so much uh, more feeling to it with the dimorphodon and the dragonflies flying around the dipocol is swimming around but the only down part of this update in general is uh, the water part that the water sometimes doesn't look like water but yeah let's go on to the next one and then we're gonna check out the penguin, the Kairuku habitat, the ice habitat. The changes here are the water, the, 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 the ice water has been changed and uh, something else. Th this little guy, yeah, it is already happy wiggling around, but it will be more happy because it got a friend now. Check it out. <laughs> it got a snowman as a friend. That is so cool. And you can see clearly the difference with the uh, ice water. It is more brighter now and uh, not as wavy as it uh, used to be. So it is more flat. And yeah, I, I think it suits well. It is really bright, but... Uh, so, so the ice or the snow is standing out a little bit less but other than that I, I think it is a nice addition and uh, here we have an overview so yeah I think overall a cool addition to this ice habitat and then we come to the habitat I really enjoy looking at. It's the beaver habitat. With the Trudon, the Microraptor, the beaver dam and the beavers working on it. Here we can see the Trudon. This has changed a lot. Uh, check it out. The position of the Trudon has been changed. It is now on a rock. And the water has been changed of course with the water update. And uh, here we can see the Trudon or the Microraptor I mean. The Microraptor on the tree. It is now lonely but not for long. Because check it out. Here it comes, flying in. <laughs> the freely flying around Microraptor. That is so cool. And for the beavers themselves, things have changed as well. Mommy is still working on the dam. Daddy is uh, working on the tree. But they have to look out for a kid. Check it out. How cute is this? Oh, this is so cute. A cute little beaver. <laughs> Swinger, swimming around in the water. And uh, yeah, the rock and the tree on the left side. The rock has been added. The tree is up higher. The bush here is a little bit uh, not good textured, at least not for me, it, it didn't load in. And yeah, like I said, Mamali is still wiggling with her butt and uh, wiggle, 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 slamming with her tail. But it has been changed a little bit because there is now a rock in front of her, uh, a bush has been added. So uh, yeah, some small changes for Mommy over here. And for the male, well, he's still chewing on a tree uh, for the beaver dam, working on the beaver dam. But now he also needs to take care of his kid <laughs> that is nicely swimming around. So, uh, yeah, uh, cool. It is so cute uh, to see this small beaver uh, swimming around. Uh, <laughs> really cool. Checking up on daddy. Hello. <laughs> 
And this site is also being changed. The water, of course, has been changed. The Microraptor has now a friend. But uh, on the bottom at the water, you see uh, something black. Well, that is poking through. That is uh, of the terrarium itself. It shouldn't be there. So that needs to get fixed. And uh, yeah, here the pink flowers also don't load in the textures. Um, a few from above. Above, uh, now you see the nice blue color of the water. And uh, over now you don't see it. So yeah, you kind of see that it is water, but not totally clear. But uh, yeah, the free movement, it's so cute. It is so cute. So overall, I think this is an awesome update of this habitat. Alrighty, then it is time to check out on the mammoth habitat. Or should we call it the mammoth habitat? Because <laughs> things have been changed. Uh, one of the changes are the water, the, the, the ice water. It is uh, like with the uh, penguin, it is much more brighter now. So... I think it is a little bit too bright. You can see it from above as well. Uh, now uh, everything stands out nicely. It looks more natural. And now yeah, I, I think it is a little bit too bright. But the biggest change is right here. Check it out. <laughs> the Ice Wyvern has been added. But the egg. I, isn't that an egg of the Lightning Wyvern? I'm not sure though. But it is so cool. Check it out on top of it. So I think maybe it is now the Ice Wyvern habitat instead of the Mammoth habitat. <laughs> Alrighty, then habitat that is really awesome, but I was a little bit sad. It was named the Quetzal habitat and there was only one Quetzal and I was like, well, it, it needs a little bit more. Uh, yeah, a lot of changes here. The river has been changed a lot. The water has been changed, but also a lot of rocks have been added on the left and on the right. Um, yeah, the bear is still there with his salmon. <laughs> And uh, the pecky rhinos, well, the pecky rhinos family are still defending their little kid. But it started to rain. Uh, stupid me recording while well, it is raining. But they have been added uh, on top of a rock. The tree has been higher. And what was that in the screen? What was that? Well, what it was, was, uh, yeah, this one was screaming for a friend, jumping around, looking around. Where are my friends? Well, your wishes has been heard because, check it out another quetzal it is flying around this is so cool and now it really feels like it is a quetzal habitat it is so cool that this quetzal is flying around oh my god <laughs> really it, it adds so much more life to to this habitat than it did before with all the animals that were already in it the river from above you can see it now uh yeah it will change a lot check it out a lot of rocks has been added and I don't mind that but uh, because the water is not um, yeah you, you cannot really see the water it is hard to uh, see that there is a river now and I'm a little bit sad about that part but other than that I think yeah an, a nice addition especially this Quetzal flying in your screen <laughs> that is just so lovely to see all right, one more look from above from this angle. So the river or the habitat in the old version and now in the new version. Well, overall a nice update. Uh, the, the landscape has been changed. That is okay. The Quetzal, it is awesome that it has been added because, oh my god, uh, now there are two of them. But the river, yeah, the river is a little bit the down part, the downside of this update because it is now water uh, that you can see through and uh, you see the land and almost not the water. Alright, then it is time for the Wyvern habitat. This one has been updated and I already enjoyed the previous update. And this is one of my favorite habitats that there is. This part is so cool that the, <laughs> the girl is fighting off the T-Rex. Well, it has changed a little bit. The T-Rex is now on the rocks. The rocks have been moved a little bit. And uh, the, yeah, the, the water part is, the water features is still the same as with the other habitats. But the water part also features now something else. Free movement for three saber tooth salmons. And yeah, th th that just adds so much life to this already nice, awesome, detailed habitat. And of course we need to check out the wyverns themselves. So uh, here we see mommy uh, checking out on their kid. Uh, do you eat the whole sheep or not? But sheep on her in the screen are also changed. Check it out. Uh, rocks have been added. One of the sheep is on top of the rocks jumping around. <laughs> mommy is flying around. Uh, and some of the other sheep are uh, placed somewhere else. So I think th this free movement, uh, yeah, it is so cool. It is really so awesome. And for the next part, well, I didn't have footage from before. Well, only this part of a video that I recorded. Check it out. A wyvern has been added and the lava flow has been added. This is so cool. So, some extra crystals. Crystals have been moved. And uh, yeah, I, I really didn't know that this was going to be a thing. But it is really so awesome. So cool. 
and uh, here a view from above and I think yeah th th this update brings more life to it and it is really awesome and amazing really a nice job so the wyvern habitat it is nicely updated a nicely flying wyvern and uh, yes yeah, sadly that I place my wyvern habitat like this because yeah this back part is fine that you don't really see it but now on the other end is that wyvern and the lava trends uh, I don't see that now so <laughs> better not place it like this but uh, yeah let's change it you better place it like um, let's grab it turn around and yeah so something like this so now you can nicely see this side and also the other side where the wyvern and the lava flow is. So this is much better. And then we're gonna check out the monkey temple. One is still sleeping under there. <laughs> this one has been updated, one is throwing the poop. Well, things like that haven't been changed. What has been changed of course is the water port and some rocks. Uh, you will see in the screen has been uh, changed new rocks or uh, rocks have been added you will see that from this side as well in the middle of the screen there is a new rock so uh, things like that have been changed and let's see it from above well the dirty monkey is still throwing its poop <laughs> So the big changes of the monkey temple are uh, the ceiling or the roof thingy and uh, the water. The water has the same issue as the others and uh, I don't know what is up with these te textures over here because they are not loading in. I have that also on this side. Uh, so I think they have been changed and now they don't load in or they have been... I, I don't know. So something has changed because they are not loading in the ground uh, textures that you see over there. And over here at the bee habitat uh, the flowers has been changed at least the textures so they are now not loading in as they did before and over here yeah the, the bush section uh, has the same thing that the flowers here in the corner but yeah a, a nice update I, I love the free moving uh, creatures that has been added to all those habitats I love the ice wyvern and uh, yeah the, the water is a nice idea really it is really cool that the uh, water is flowing and that kind of things but really add a blue layer uh, yeah you can find it in the dev kit you know where to find it uh, the blue layer of the water the deeper water I think you should use and then uh, it looks much better like water because yeah now sometimes you see it as ground and uh, not as water so yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video over there in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.